but it's taken on a whole new meaning this season, especially in the sunshine state. It's been the gridiron version of the 2000 presidential election. Florida duh indeed. In Tallahassee and Gainesville, fans are saying, take my coach, please. Florida State Jimbo Fisher is challenging fans to come out and give him a piece of his mind face to face. Bold indeed, especially when they're separated from you by a railing, a 10-foot high wall and a state trooper. Florida coach Jim McElwain said his players and coaches were getting death threats. It was news to law enforcement in the Florida administration, and McElwain is keeping the murky specifics to himself. It was enough to make people want to revisit the shark photo. In the meantime, suspensions and injuries have decimated the Florida roster. Graduate transfer Malik Zaire can't get a look see beyond McElwain rushing him into the Michigan game. And just to pile on, what about those ugly unis? Half defensive back Chauncey Gardner, referring to the careful way Georgia coaches are bringing along freshman quarterback Jake Fromm, said, Anyone can throw a slant. Yeah, why not rile up the Bulldogs? But not everyone can complete a slant. Pick six offers up as evidence any Gator quarterback since the great Kneeler. The only Florida team running up the score is in West Palm Beach's Florida Atlantic coach Lane Kiffin has hung 69 and 58 points on his last two opponents. A bit further down I-95, Miami is claiming the state championship because it nipped FSU. But no one would bet the ranch on the Hurricanes against what may be the two best teams in the state, South Florida and Central Florida. The Bulls and the Knights are playing for the real state championship this season on November 24, a Friday, the day before Florida plays host to FSU. It's one case of the varsity playing before the JV. Well, here's one constant P6's accuracy this season. Last week's 5-1 record pushed the season mark to 36-12.750. Here's this week's six-pack of picks, all games in which the point spread is 10 points or less, which leaves out Georgia-Florida, but P6 will make on prediction. Gator fans will spend more time in the parking lot than the stadium, before the game, and then again with about five minutes left in the third quarter. Florida State 23 Boston College 16, P6 thinks Fisher will somehow convince his players to play smart for most of the game, instead of just half of it. Notre Dame 27, North Carolina. State 14, the Wolf Pack lead the ACC in rushing defense. The Irish ran for 377 yards against USC last week. At home, P6 likes the Irish to impose their will in that situation. Kentucky 31, Tennessee 22, Vols coach Butch Jones said his horrid offense has actually looked good in practice, but has yet to show it in the games. Well, the offense is practicing against the Vols defense, after all. Plus, running back John Kelly got pinched for having some of the wild weed. I suppose the Vols weren't going to let the Gators have all the fun this week. Louisville 37, Wake Forest 20, it may not be this close. Now that the Cardinals are done with FSU, Clemson and NC State, the schedule looks favorable for a late-season push to the Pinstripe Bowl. Oklahoma State 43, West Virginia 31, the Cowboys escaped Texas and P6 is amused that the state of affairs for the Longhorns has deteriorated to the point where they're now considered a trap game. The Cowboys should be able to outlast the Mountaineers. Yeah, Will Grier, blah. Blah, blah. Oki State has a better pass defense than the numbers show. TCU 45, Iowa State 17, the Frogs are 3-0 against Isu and Ames. The Cyclones have had some fun in October, beating Oklahoma, Kansas, and Texas Tech, but fun time is over.